Hi, I'm John, and welcome to this episode in the series on introductory synthesis, here dealing with slew rate limiters. On the oscilloscope and in the audio here, we have a slew rate limiter working on a square wave in contrast to a filter. The filter produces a rounded sine wave result, whereas the slew rate limiter is producing a triangle wave. These typically aren't operated in the audio region, and it would be more common to see it used in a control voltage rate. Here, connected to the tune output of a keyboard, we'll slow the rates right down from those at audio. And now we can see it again producing a straight line, whereas the filter produces a curved response. Interestingly here, used to glide or provide portamento to note data, we see that the filter in yellow provides a constant time from its start to its end, no matter how far it's having to travel, whereas the slew rate limiter operates at a constant rate, and therefore the time it takes to reach the new level is dependent on how far away that was. And if we listen to these results in the audio out of the oscillators, There, the glide taking significantly longer to reach the final destination. This linear glide can sound rather mechanical in comparison to the exponential rate of the filter. And typically, portamento is implemented with a filter rather than a slew rate limiter. Mm -hmm. 